Hello, I'm Neil Prescott from Lockheed Martin and we're here in Avalon in Victoria, Australia for the air show in 2013. We've got a fantastic family of unmanned air vehicles. Desert Hawk 3 is a hand-launched, electrically operated UAV. It's got a um, approximately a 15 kilometre range, has a gimbal, infrared and electro-optic sensor associated with it and it's in service with the uh, British forces and it's been working in theatre for the last six years. We're currently flying a thousand hours of uh, operations or slightly in excess of that each month at the moment and importantly it's um, able to fly in much higher winds than other vehicles in its class so a major advantage for the operators. Stalker XE is here as well, it's one of the family, it's a electrically operated, almost silent operation, it has an endurance of more than six hours, it's in theatre with a number of forces at the present time, it has a fantastic sensor that provides high definition video to, uh, to conduct the surveillance. We have Fury here, it's a very exciting new development. Swept wing, very individual characteristics. It's designed for very long ranges in excess of 1500 miles. Operates for more than 16 hours and uh, has a 100 pound payload, which is exceptional for this class of vehicle. Very, very useful for uh, the major military operations and we're very excited about bringing that to market. Fury's in very advanced development. We have uh, the full-size vehicle operating at the moment as a rail-launched net-recovered vehicle. Its wingspan, to give you an idea of the size, is approximately 4.7 metres. So very capable. I'll tell you about Indigo. Indigo is a very novel, it's a quad-rotor device designed to operate for 45 to 55 minutes. Unique in the sense that it doesn't have to be assembled, it folds together. Very, very useful for urban environment work, for both police forces, military, perhaps paramedic work. Um, and it shares a very unique characteristic in that it has the same controller and ground station as Desert Hawk. And that's one of the features that we're increasingly trying to unify the support systems for these programs.